Hey, welcome to the Virtual Gaming Junction. This is Camilio. Continuing our game of Arcanum. Um, so yeah, off stream I wanted to do a little bit of shopping, but I didn't do it. So there was nothing to do under Bates' house. Hello, Sleepy. What I have yet to do here. Greetings from Denmark, nice. This is broken? And we also had a dagger. Where's our dagger? <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> oh, maybe that's when I went through Bates' basement. Yeah, let's not go through that. Hey, what if? Because, yeah, no, no, that was not worth it. Getting all my weapon destroyed. Let's go talk to Bates, see if he has anything to say. Oh, you sleepy. Okay, well, let's, let's wait because... As I do this. Please, we must cease our attack upon such a good soul. Oh. Uh. Sell some stuff, but then we're gonna we'll go away from it. I said I I would do the sewers, but I'm gonna wait. I should go and identify my stuff first. It might just be this. You should have the best shield.
happened to your weapon? Uh, didn't you have like a two or two of the weapon or something? Possible it got broken. Oh no, that's this guy. No. Uh, yeah, this guy had a two-handed weapon he was using in one hand. And he doesn't have it anymore. I don't even understand how that can happen. And when stuff get damaged, it goes into your inventory and it's red. So where's that sword? Well, anyway, you need a sword. He's the guy who has a Mr. Great Sword. Yeah, that's a two ended sword. I think. It would be better with this. We should make another sword. Auto skeleton key. A lock pick and a small spring. Does it actually work? I need this thing. Shit, I'm too magically inclined. I can't use these anymore. Oh fuck. Well I was I was okay for a while. stuff here oh, you buy everything 519 somebody said it was worth 800 I should do try one
And you do well. Nobody wanted to buy these things. Well, the studded leather might be cool. Yeah, we need to sell all these things. This, this, this. I don't know about this. How come you have money in your inventory? What's that about? And this. sold at 800 perhaps I have so much money who cares really let's keep that shit on uh, this I can't give it to anybody later if I give it to somebody, he's gonna get pissed off about it. up there what changed why it's <laughs> oh do you want this oh we already have what the fuck Bucks for that, that damn. Uh... Yeah, we need to sh sell this too. This too, if I can. Quality armor, whatever. I don't need this. It's so heavy. Thirty-four coins. Twenty coins. And this. And this, and this. Yeah, I don't know why. Now it's at the top. Did I touch something here? At first it was the um, the items that were at top. Okay.
Let's do this. I don't know if there's anything I'm doing. Uh, identify. No. Uh, nothing to identify here. They can bill me. Hey, Dave, good evening. Uh, you probably don't have anything magical on you. Oh, why do I have this? Don't even look and know it's me. Oh, I know it's you. <laughs> you don't even know it's me. It's not like a hundred percent. It's like ninety-nine point nine 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 percent. I don't think anyone has ever used Bill me. to identify anything. Well, yeah, this I need to identify. And that's it. No, there was a sword. Or not. Nope. This. I dread armor, surprise, surprise. And this. Ring of protection. Ooh. Charmed ring, which gives me a bunch of things. Poison resistance. Let's remove poison resistance and just put the ring of protection in there. Let's put the poison re resistance on you. And do you... No. And nobody else can use this. So I should shelf it. Um, I, th I maybe. It's been a while. Maybe I set it up just for you. It's possible. But since I don't advertise it, nobody uses it. Oh shit. Oh, you can use the dread armor? I guess barbarian armor is also for humans. Oh, okay, it's for humans, but this guy is just not human enough. That's the only thing he can use. I get it. Okay, but this is AC 14, AC uh, a shit ton. The R23. Yeah, this is so much better. Except for the prowling, I think. NP, I think this is like noise protection. <laughs> oh well, it's minus 20 and this is minus 25 plus 10, so minus 15. Uh, this guy doesn't have a weapon for some reason. That's not good. Uh, let's give you this enchanted sword. Even though a balanced sword would be better around this. Um, Yeah, fuck it. I can make balance swords, so just, just give it that. Oh, you prefer that? You prefer this? To this? Whatever. 
This is 1 8 plus 4. 1 8 plus 3. Technically, the other one's got a really dumbass. I'll give you this. You won't use it. No, you won't. No, you take this. Maybe you want this. Yeah, because usually it's this guy that gets hurt the, the most. Yo, kill Sigil, how's it going? Drop that axe, it's slowing me down. You know, I don't need to uh, go back to my stash or anything. We have a couple of extra things that I would like to stash, but it's not too bad. This guy is light encumbrance. None, 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 light. No, he's gonna take it, that's the problem. Nice. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> That's uh, Virgil in the barbarian armor. And what's the downside of that dread armor? It's really good, and it's not so expensive. They sell it. Uh, I see. I see it sold. It's. We found two. It's like relatively common. It's called Dread Armor, but it's not a uh, curse story. Uh, to Dern Ulm and maybe other places too. Let's see, let's see. Find Woman out there. Okay, I'm not sure where this guy is. The hen. So we need to go to the whale clan. That's the next um, objective. Explore the ancient maze, and I think the guy is here. Unfortunately, we cannot use the train, we cannot use any mode of transportation. Eventually, I'll get the teleport spell, will, which I'll be able to teleport to uh, any, any place, I think. Oh, you're about to die! <coughs> By the way, I got confirmation that this this map you can stop anywhere and just walk all the way. 
I could walk like that all the way there. If I get there, there will be a bridge. Um, yeah, it's crazy like that. I can't believe it myself. But, like, for example, if we stop here, it would be easy to Okay, that would be very close to the river. <laughs> How close? I don't know. We're here in water. Yes, okay. So if I look at my map, I'm here. So if I go right here, I would get to a bridge. It might take a while, I don't know. We're still exactly in the same spot. Yeah, I've been listening to Tim Kaine talking about it. And he talked about the tiles and how... So, there's an editor, I think it may be coming... Like, it may come with the game. And they have like a system of tiling that... If I, for example, if I start with this and I and I drop some water in there, well, it doesn't, it can't do water grass. It has to do, it has to do, like if I do deep water like that, it would have to do deep water. Is this the deepest? Maybe, I don't know, like deep water, shallow water, beach, rocky, then this thing and then grass like it had to go through or like somebody put a spot of, of brown there and that's what it did but no maybe not it's this might be procedurally generated there's a lot of this that's procedurally generated of course they don't map like this whole thing is not on memory because that would be too much it's procedurally generated as you go and if you play multiplayer there is going to be the same because he's using the same random number generators and all the like it's it's crazy. The fact that it all works, even E was surprised that it all works out. Oh, I may have passed it. I don't know, we're still exactly... <laughs> it's exactly there, but uh, I am confident that eventually we would get there. It would be fun to see how much time it takes to from one part of the map to the other. Essentially, all these tiles are five feet of length, and uh, so they calculated the length of the map like that. So, why would that be if this is like one mile or blah blah blah? I'm still looking for that bridge. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not one hundred percent sure that it exists, but it should, it should exist. The water existed. Ah, we're kind of getting there. The bridge might just be a bunch of shallow water like that. That you can traverse. Like this. Yeah, this might be the bridge. Because all this is procedure generated. Yeah. Yeah, this might have been the bridge. <laughs> I'm not very surprised at that. So they, they would go on and do broad strokes of lands like that. And actually do all that. And if I drop a weapon here, 
I shit you not. If I drop a weapon here, I could come back and get it any time in the game. And there is no time, there is nothing, it's not because of the way they program the game. Everything in the game that is added to a tile is a delta to the tile. So it's just added information. All these tiles are kind of like vanilla tiles until you do something to them. And then they have to put it in memory. So the save game will only be bloated if you move a lot of stuff, if you drop a lot of stuff everywhere. <laughs> if you drop one thing in every tile, that'll make it more, um, take more memory, the save game. Anyway. <laughs> it's fascinating. Like, they could have done more with this game once it was done. They could have easily done a sequel or an expansion pack. Because once the, the building blocks were there, it was easy for them to create cities, to create quests. That's why this game has so many quests. Because it was rather easy for them to make them. It was quick to make, to make this. They had these buildings. These were buildings. They would put the building in there. Poop. Put the building in there. Poop. Didn't have to program all that by hand, which a lot, a lot of game had to do that. That's why a lot of the houses look the same. It's like that, like in Baldur's Gate. That's different. In Baldur's Gate, except for like the forest areas, but a lot of the cities are literally just like a big painting, and then they added like okay this is gonna be a door that you can open this is not gonna be a door that I can open blah 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 this is where you can go um so let's go to the castle first or something like that maybe go talk to the to the king about his brother so if you didn't know if you weren't there last time we went to the owl the isle of despair which is here well we can't really well here the isle of despair which is this Wow, it's not even this. So we went here. There was a bunch of stuff there that we did. We helped a girl uh, escape. This, it's a prison. It's a prison island. Um, but there's a woman encampment, like outside of the prison encampment, and she wanted to go there. We also killed a beast and we did a bunch of stuff. We also talked to a descendant of the Wheel Clan. And uh, we are looking for the Black Mountain Clan. A dwarf clan that has disappeared but we learned that the wheel clan has banished them um, so the wheel clan is like here this guy told us about it um, and when we were on this island we also fi found a, a guy that just doesn't give a shit about anything and he's the brother of this king the elderly brother of the king um, here of this castle which all all these styles here look amazing like these uh, these castles the, the one of the best one is the, the Bates mansion it just looks like a big uh, industrial castle this looks like a decrepit castle it is normal because this place has been uh, has been kind of abandoned this is like the old seat of magic and the old seat of the one of the biggest kingdom I think in the Arcanum. How oh, dare you bring this revolutionary back? Oh shit! Yeah, he wants Dante. Touch him and you will die. Please, we must cease our attack upon such a good soul. I say just before going. It's oh my god. I will return. Okay, it's okay. You didn't want him now. Let's see. Okay. Task such as. He says at a, at a later date he'll need us. Okay, so we deal. We dealt with Dante. 
the last time we came here and Dante wanted to come back and because th this guy is a temporary follower but I made it uh, um, a normal follower I guess You can potentially make anyone your follower in this game by using the spell Dominate Will. It's pretty crazy. This game has a lot more potential than it looks on the surface. Um, yeah, I'm looking for that guy. I might actually look it up because I don't want to. Uh, maybe talk to one of these guys. Maybe it's this guy. Hmm. No. Let's go back in. I forgot that I needed to... Uh... No, he's not gonna be in here. Oh, maybe. Ask people where people are. <laughs> I don't understand why games didn't do that more. I've seen a couple of RPG that you can do that. You just could talk to somebody and where is Bobo Bobo? He doesn't want to talk to us. Well. He said he was a soldier. Garrick Stout. No questions. Yeah, what's his name? Liana, we need to talk to Liana. The black suited human in the building next to Dolan General Store. Apparently, I don't even know where Dolan General Store is. Probably this. I don't think I will be able to comply with your wishes. Cumbria. General question. Cumbria. They don't know. Since King Preto came into power, his father, King Torren, was a great king and brought much glory to Cumbria, but he died during the war. King Torin outlawed the use of technology within the city walls. Our defeat by Tyrant uh, showed us the error of those ways. We buried the great king because of it. Unfortunately, Praetor came to power. Oh, 
Wasn't Praetor the son of King Torren? Yes, but he wasn't the firstborn. I'm sorry, but these things are forbidden to speak of. What else? The king didn't fight over it. Didn't really matter. Cumbria was strong. The initial council had just come into power in Tarad. It was only a matter of time before things came to war. It was a terrible battle. The Dragon Knight were called upon the feet to defend Cambrio, and as always, they healed the call. My father told me of that day. The knights upon their war steeds, dressed in armor of gold and silver. The trumpet sounded, and they charged. They charged wave after wave of the finest soldier that Arcanum has ever known, charged directly into the bullets fired by the Tarentian foot soldiers. The dragon knights never stopped, not once. My father said the piles of the dead were like great metal mountains rising from the oceans of blood. It was a massacre. Who was your father? My father was Warren del Peldar. He was captain of dragon knights and the greatest warrior I've ever known. Tears come to her eyes. From what I was, from when I was very young, he taught me the ways of the dragon knights, and he taught me to love Cumbria, to hold the memory of her former greatness in my heart. I'm looking for Warren Peldar. Warren Peldar, my father. Anger in her eyes. What business you possibly have with my father? I have to bring him a massage. A, mes a message. To stand before you, glorying. I'm sorry, but my father has been dead for many years. What message were you to bring him? The message is from Maximilian, Liana. Your eyes widen, unbelieving. Oh my god, Maximilian? We never dreamed that he was still alive. Where? Where is he? He's on the Isle of Despair. Tell her the story. I see. There is determination in her eyes and hope. Thank you, my friend. My father would be so happy. He used to talk of Maximilian endlessly, saying how Cumbria would have been even greater had he taken his rightful place on the throne. She looks to the east. Perhaps that might still come to pass. I will go and return with the true king. I certainly hope so. Farewell. Oh, that's it we can't talk about it? wow there was so many things we could have said but that's it <laughs> yeah good taste indeed <laughs> it's like it's like oh you have black shirt, I have black shirt, we have good taste indeed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to make fun, it's just... I'm sorry. I, I thought it's funny. I think it's funny. I love you and Log. Speaking of which, have you played the... Uh, have you pre-ordered the uh, Baldur's Gate 3? Because I just I just played Baldur's Gate 3 for kind of the first time, really. I played a little bit when it came out, like the, the very first release that they had, like at Early Access at a friend's house. And I was like, eh. I wasn't... I don't know. But now I played it, and oh my god, I'm excited about it. Um, yeah, we're done here. We are done. Let's exit the place. Ancient maze here. Ooh. We also had uh, 
uh, in here some coordinates. Yeah, 617 west, 528 south. Would be more around this place. We, we got this information in Ashbury. So 600, it's, it's around it. Maybe the oven ruins. Maybe. Because they really want you to find those ruins. Okay, we've been here before. I wait for the rest of Scott. Oh. <laughs> really? Okay, I don't know. Have they talked about that? The director's cut. Shit, they've been working on this game for like eight years. Maybe you should play it now. <laughs> I don't know. Waiting for the director's cut. That's because the other games, they didn't have enough money for the voiceovers. <laughs> so they needed the director's cut to accomplish their vision. I don't think they have this problem anymore. This is not Divinity Original Sin era anymore. So we've been here before, but that's about what we did. We went inside and we opened up that chest and that's it. Oh my god. And I'm dead. I'm dead? Yes, I'm dead. Yes, I am dead. And I should save your maze. I need to be careful. Well, there's no way I'm risking spoiling uh, somebody spoiling Baldur's Gate for me, so I'm not gonna wait. They never release a director's cut when you ever play the game. Because I always say never assume anything. Gore guard. Mm. Uh, for some reason, I double clicked him and double clicking him attacked him. I did not know that. Oh. I'm wondering something new every day. This one is better. That was the same fucking thing. I should have checked what level. Yes, sir. What? <laughs> no, I don't plan on watching any of them. I miss my daughter really wants to see Barbie. And she really didn't 
show any interest in it. Somebody made a trailer of both of them Item fused in or something. So I came I got attacked by a tree, I killed it, and then I was like, oh, this is too tough for me. But I... It was just that. Still, like... The red band trailer. I thought you were asking if I saw one of the... Uh, one of the movies. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Guys, follow me. Or not. Guys. I think we're lost. Which one? <laughs> Barbie? <or? laughs> yeah, I'll be happy to watch Oppenheimer once it come out on streaming and I can put some subtitles on it and be able to understand what people are saying. That will be fun. Understanding what they're saying. Because Nolan has this concept, this this weird conception, and I think he's wrong because a lot of people, even filmmakers, have told him, "Dude, we can't hear what people are saying in your movie." And he's like, "Oh, but that's the way it is." Well, if you don't want us to hear it, just put it very low. Like the subtitle will literally say "inaudible." But it's not the case. You can actually hear what they're saying, but you have to really pay close attention. So if you're not paying close attention and you missed a word or two, you really feel like you're missing out because you actually can hear the things. If you couldn't, that wouldn't be a problem. So either mute your fucking scenes, put your fucking blasting muse. I don't know why he likes that. Those so much like this is not 2010 anymore it was cool in its in inception that's it that's not cool anymore I don't think it's funny anymore hey Arrogant like my favorite movies of his and some of my favorite movies of all time is Memento and The Prestige and none of these movies have that problem I don't know how to get in this maze. Oh, maybe this is it. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah these big dudes, they're tough. Go, guys. Let's enter combat. He's coming. He's coming for me. <laughs> He's coming for me. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. Swamp Shambler. Go. 
I don't think it has anything on it. And unidentified armor. Can you... Yeah, you'll have it in your inventory. You'll, you won't put it on. Oh my god, 24, 24, 24, damn it, Let me open this. Yeah, I cannot come back. Pick it up. Oh, it's on the other side of this wall. But then how do I get in there? I should even be able to jump through this window here. I don't understand why that doesn't work. Probably need to go around. Yeah, I should come come here before. Lots of good stuff. Not too difficult enemies. Not with my army. Uh, yeah, he's on the other side of this wall. Shit. We're fucked. I'm dead. I'm dead. Unless one of my guys here heal me. Ah, oh, these guys will destroy our weapons. Hmm, there's something there. Oh, I need to get out of dodge. Oh, I should heal myself. Oh my god, they have a projectile. No. Guys, weapon damage. Yes, exactly. Thank you. <sighs> eh, I don't think that'll be enough. Yeah, I know these fuckers. I know you. Well, I go away and they'll want to follow me. Which helps me because while they're doing that, they're not doing anything else. Come on, weapon damage. Oh, shit. This guy's almost dead, this guy's not even close to dying. <laughs> A friend! I've been wounded terribly! Quickly! I need healing! I 
Shuka? Yeah, he's the former servant, uh, Mr. Bates. Bates has asked him to, uh, to help us. He's an half ogre, like this guy. These are two half ogre. This guy's a drunk half ogre that we found in the tavern. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, the, the, this guy. Uh, don't go there. No, 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 no. Go here first. Yeah, he wants to go there. Maybe I need teleport. There's a. It's weird that I can't go through this. Oh, I did. I did this time. No, I'm stuck on the other side. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's the end of the maze, but these guys are really tough. What I'll have to do is confiscate their weapons. Well, may maybe I'll be okay. What's the, what's the situation here? 44. He'll break his weapon, probably. Yeah, let's go with the large pipe. I don't care. Oh my god, they're there. Shit. Arm. There, we need to ill me, Mr. Shit. It didn't work because he's he's a tech guy, so magic doesn't work on him anymore. Or sometimes it works. Come on, guys. Wow, we've been damaged. So, was the situation? 71, okay, not too bad. Okay, that's cool. Take this again. 59. That's fine. 71, okay. Okay. Cool. There's a lot. <laughs> exactly. Well, these are ruins. Maybe there were stairs that went there or something. I don't know. But there is a way to get there. Either by teleporting the knife to me or uh, teleporting myself inside the wall. These things are liquid of skin thickening. I should do that sometimes when I'm just getting pound. Because I'm very frail and enemies tend to focus on, on the player. So if I go in, uh, they usually go for me. That's an advantage and a disadvantage. I can use that to my advantage. So how do I get in there? Can I go here? 
No, there's a wall there. There's a way to get in here. Oh, I can't have the map. I can even pass here. Alright. No? Why not? Is there a wall there that I can't see? Yeah, okay. Okay, um... It's a bit in. So there's definitely a way to get into that forest part at the top there. Okay, I need to enter here. Ah, uh, you can pass behind. time is better sometimes because they focus on me so I can just kite and they'll focus on me um, if we go in turn base and I try that it doesn't work because of the way turn base is made since everybody doesn't move at the same time they tend to get at me and attack me and kill me if I stay in, in the... no I can't pass here no, going back in there going back in there Ah, oh, here I could have passed and I didn't see it. Is there a chest, first of all? No, I think this area is literally just so that you can see that you can pass this. Because when you're here, it didn't look like it.
just need to make them see me and then back off. No, no. Well, it's kind of lackluster. Again, I should have done this before. Lots of money, lots of stuff that at this point I don't really care. Everybody has good equipment, I don't need to buy anything really. If I see a cool shield or a cool element, I'll buy it. It'll probably put it on, yeah. Put it on. Large pipe. Yeah. Thought so. Well, this guy is already light too, so. And I'm probably medium, I have so many potions. <laughs> I need to go dump all these potions. If I give them, they're just gonna drink them all. Oh, I can use this space, but it's just space. It's still the weight is still there because they're ten stones. They're very heavy. We're back to Terra. Rather, because the wheel clan is there, so yeah. What the fuck was that? Greater Weaver. So Liana kind of ended our quest. Do I need to report back to uh, If we go back to the island of despair, I want to talk to Maximilian again. <laughs> First identification. So I didn't know, but there's a, this guy spies anything, it seems. No music? Identify. I 
thought you had some gloves. I saw the was one of the gloves I had. Uh, no. Nature's Wrath. Plus 20% damage resistant. PE. Crit and Tangle. It looks good, but it's supposedly cursed. Magic Leather Armor. 9 plus 10. Wow, that's so good. Too bad it's so heavy. Magic dagger. Mage's dagger. Let's go with the magic dagger instead of the mage's dagger. It's a little heavier though. <laughs> Fuck off. I don't know what mana 5 is, mana 10. Is that like three, three points before it touches fatigue? That's what I would think. Let's keep this in, on, in, in our inventory. Trading. Oh, she's buying these at seven six yeah, six seventy six. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What about this? Oh, the shadow one. Oh, yeah. White scar, do I steal on that? Need this? I don't know. Ruby, you want the ruby? So, you have the Dread Armor, you can't use this, it doesn't matter, you're not magical. 19 AC, damage resistant 23, 26, PR plus 10, PR, it's, it's better than this Elven Chain though. You would think the elven chainmail wouldn't weigh 350 pounds or stones or whatever. So yeah, no one can use this. You can't use it. You can't use it. It would be better than this. But this was super expensive thinking that it would last me a long while. Or I could use it on myself because for what it is, 160 is pretty low. This is a hundred stone. Maybe that's what I should have a fucking dread armor. Yeah, why not? Give me that. Give me that. Give it that. Give it that one. <laughs> well, now forty six instead of uh, thirty two. AC nineteen plus thirty one instead of six. Damage resistance five. Yeah, damage resistance is low. Is low. That's for sure. It's not really an armor. Um, 
But yeah, 100 stone, 50 stone. It's not too bad. And this I need to sell. Of course he's putting it on. Oh, hey, can I go around naked? Pretty much. <laughs> it was just a question I had. Okay, let's sell some stuff. Ah, oh, this is an identifier. This is a prowling robe. This is what I should have. Uh, the scimitar. I'm gonna keep the jacket. Uh, and I think I can also sell this. to sell these things. Let's go back. And what did I identify? This thing, yeah. It's not going to be better than this, but in terms of weight, maybe. Reaction 12 dislike? Why does she hate us now? She hates us. <laughs> you have a frightfully odd sense of fashion, dear. Is that why? What? Maybe. Definitely not using that. Identify this shadow and robes. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna use. Uh, this I'm gonna leave. Well, no, somebody should use it. It's really good armor. It doesn't have any damage resistance, so maybe it's not that good. We're good. Okay, now I'm going to teleport back into town by going outside and then. Oh, I look way better in this room. Now I look like I'm playing Fallout. <laughs> Damn it. OK, 
Okay, we need to repair stuff. What's up with the no music anymore? What's going on? What if I say and then I know? Ah. Uh, no, no, definitely not here. But first, I need to check what needs to be fixed. Uh, yeah. Definitely. That's fine. This needs to be clear. I know he took this because I took his sword. There you go. Okay, let's leave our, some stuff in our stash and then we'll go away. Drop a couple of potions. I don't know what these do, so let's drop them. Drop this. I'll give this to someone. Put it there. Potion of haste. to fatigue. No weapons? How come you have no weapons? <sighs> yeah, fuck it, take the summon animal thing. the usefulness of this compass. It's 
So if I give him potion, he's gonna use them. Or if I give him this, he's not gonna use them. If I give him this, he's gonna use it immediately. So 370. I would need to get under 260 to get my full 8 speed. I lose 2 speed, which is kind of a lot. 2 speed per uh, speed, which is determined by dexterity, I guess. So you lose 2 speed per encumbrance level. So if I would be encumbrance none, I would gain 2 speed. So you should always get encumbrance none. If you're having trouble with the game, maybe that's why. Some people don't like the game. Like If you fill out your inventory till you can't get more and you try to fight... <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. It's like trying to, f to fight with a, with a 200 pound backpack on your... On your back. Oh, I can walk with, with that. But, like, don't ask me to fight or do anything or run or, you know. This is one stone, so even those. Maybe I should just remove these boots. But I w would have to go around almost naked. Oh, no. Wasn't there a thing that was... Like, this is... No, this is the skill. This is not an item. So I'm surprised that with all this, I'm at 37. I'm about 110 with this. And all these are 10. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of potions. It's such a shame that I can't leave them. The po if I could put the potions in a container and leave them the container, that might work. But I don't think in this game you have you can have containers in your inventory, like an Ultima. So we'll have to work with that. I have no choice until I I boost my uh, my strength, which I'll ha I'll have to to do because like losing two speed is like really really bad. Uh, the Hello! Whoa, 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 Climbing. You can jump instead of climbing on me. Yeah, this would be the best way to exit the town. Okay, Will Clan, here we go. To Will Clan. That's what it says when I load. It says, finding no trace of the bank map on the Isle of Despair, you must travel to Will Clan in order to find out what may have befallen, befallen them. Something like that. Let's go here. Uh, but first, we're gonna take a little break. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned.
revolutionized the first-person shooter with award-winning 360-degree stomach-wrenching action. Then, we plunged you deeper into chaos with deadlier enemies that fed off your power. Now, after years of waiting, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Descent 3's fusion engine lets you move seamlessly from inside to outside. Crush your enemies, set them on fire, and watch them suffer. Match wits with robots that sneak up behind you, hide behind walls, and work in teams. The best multiplayer out of the box, Descent 3 is optimized for modem internet play. Descent 3. Sierra Online proudly presents the richest, most significant animated adventure ever created on CD, King's Quest VII. Roberta Williams and a cast of the world's most talented multimedia musicians, artists, and animators spin an enchanting interactive experience guaranteed to touch your entire family. In King's Quest VII, you'll enjoy graphics and sound of a caliber you've never seen or heard before on CD. So experience the magic with the most elaborate adventure game of all time. King's Quest... We're back. Counter. Oh, there's a... There was a thing, he said that uh, it was invisible to the eyes. So I don't even know how to get in there. I may need to go talk to that other... Uh, the dwarf. Oops. Uh, has informed me that I will need special pairs considering the thin slice of cotton crystal. Did he say where I would need that? Did I sell some cathorn crystals? <laughs> All the questions. Glasses. Let's 
let's load this for a second. Oh no, Caton Crystal. Well, that's good and bad at the same time because I sold it. And when's the last save that I didn't sell it? Oh my god. This was still on the map of... Um, okay, let's walk all the way back to where we sold it to and try to buy it back again. This is not the first time that I see this cat on crystal. I wonder if I have, I have some in my uh, my stash. That'd be nice. I don't think so. It's unfortunate that I can't use the, the fast travel in town anymore. Either this guy, I hope it's him. I think so. Okay, I may have sold it to uh, the gypsy instead. you know <laughs> there must be someone that just sells them <sighs> if she doesn't have them what do I do <laughs> come on okay cat on crystal 300 bucks <laughs> whatever Emerald, Ruby, no seem normal. Okay, now that we have this. Crystal. It's either we go back to um, that dwarf, or maybe. Um, an artisan here, a smith here, might be able to do something for us. How much money do we have? 15,000, holy crap. General store, fashion place. I 
gears and gadgetry. Inventor. Ask him about it. This is magical stuff. Um, maybe talk to some of those. Maybe you. How can I help you? What do you need to know? What is it that you want of me? What can I answer for you? Talking to the leader of the Wheel Clan looks to be our next step. Well, this ought to be interesting at least. They're the head clan of all the dwarves. But they've been extremely reclusive ever since us humans got the steam engine. What is it that you want of How can I help you? Wow, they don't give us any clue on what to do. Oh, let's talk to Bates again. I, I didn't talk to him because he was asleep last time. Maybe he has some information for us. Or it's that other dwarf, maybe. Make sense. Where's Mr. Bates? There you go. You have returned. Tell me what news. They aren't on the other despair. They were never there. What manner of fiendish plot is afoot here? Are you certain of this? I spoke with a dwarf who had been there for a hundred years. Gods! This is disastrous! What are we to do now? I'm on my way to talk to Logair of the Wheel Clan. Yes, yes! That is our logical next step. Tell me, is there anything I can do to help you? Oh, you forgot to pay me for searching the Isle of Despair. Ah, the vagaries of the elderly mind. Pardon my forgetfulness. Here is your gold. Question. Of course. What do you wish to ask of me? Damn, oh, I can't even you will ask have him to about excuse it. an old man whose hearing is drifting away. I know that I could not have heard you refusing my generous offer. Ah, oh, shut up, dude. Much obliged. He wants his fucking ring. He's annoying with that ring. I don't want to give it to you. I'll keep the ring. Go fuck yourself. So I think it, it must be that other dwarf, but I'm going to look it up because I don't want to walk all the way there for no reason. The Wilkin Spectacle Schematic. Oh shit, did he gave us the schematics? Maybe we can do it? Yes, I think we can do it. We just need spectacles. Unless I... I, uh, I don't have the schematics anymore. But he must have given us to us and I might have added in my inventory and then I must have dropped it in our stash. <laughs> I hope because we need it to finish the game. <laughs> Unless you have it. Schematics. Let's see. Uh, no, if I right click, I'll learn it. Whoops. God damn it. Anyway, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. 
automaton, metal inhibitor, bow. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Well, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm sure that. Um. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure we have the schematics somewhere. How do I access my schematics? Schematics. Herbology. Chemistry. Electric. Explosives. And spit. No, the schematics. Reanimator. Electric. Explosive. The gun. Smithy. And to that. Oh my god. Oh my god. What's going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, okay. Don't panic, don't panic. Somebody has it somewhere. Shit, what the fuck? No, nobody has it. What the fuck? It's not this. Multi barrel pistol. Automaton. Metal inhibitor. Mental inhibitor. Is it this? Pyrotechnic bow or something. Oh, it's not this. <sighs> we have to go play detective. Go back to... Thorval. Are you him? The dwarf on the island, or is the rest? You're not. The mines are deserted. Specially made spectacle with use well, but I remember the world clan as a pair. I still have mine. I need those glasses to get into the world clan. Can I use them? No, I don't believe you'll ever be leaving the island anyway. I still need your spectacles. Ah, uh, shit, I may have not gone all the way there in that conversation. I didn't get anything. And now I can't even talk to him anymore. He's literally go fuck yourself. I want to reunite him with his clan and he's like, Oh, you need, I have glasses, I won't give them to you. Go fuck yourself. Are they like right here? In this chest, I bet. Fuck, is this stupid or what? At Thorval to Stone, home of the blah blah blah.
The shopkeeper at Raymond's Fine Spectacle can make a pair if provided with the ingredients. But where do you get the schematics? Schematic. Oh, that won't help me. Okay, we need to go to Ashbury. Okay, that's when we had the crystal. Uh, but this is after we talked to... Uh... You are fined one critic for a violation of the verbal morality statute. Fuck, Fuck you! Hey, Nix. Rez, you're not happy? No? It's too humid for you? Oh, if I could teleport, at least I could teleport. Yeah, I can follow this all the way. Do we have the crystal? Yes, we do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're not alone. It's like that for everybody. Okay, so did I add some stuff to get identified? No, no. Okay, do you have a weapon? Last time I checked, you didn't have a weapon. Okay, cool. Ashbury is all the way there. We might need some spectacles though. Oh, I think I have some. No. Well, the guy sells some. Spe <laughs> it's a spectacle shop. Die, fool. Oh. 
take everything. Move that over. Yes, sir. What would Okay, Ashbury. Premium armature. Ashbury Sunrise. The Crooked Staff. Fine clothing and accoutrement. Premium armature. No, that's weapons. That's armor. Herbs. Sidearm and saltpeter. God damn it. Fine herbs. I don't know, I've never really used them. And there's an there's not a lot of enemies using them, so I don't I don't know if they're good or not. Apparently the best the easiest way the best way is the easiest way, because the game isn't super balanced, but if you want to have like an easy time, melee magic is the easiest way to go. But the game isn't really that tough. Um, if you do all the quests, you'll get you level up and you'll be okay. But you can make your own bullets. You shouldn't be having some bullet problems. You should be able to make your bullets and all that. Okay, where where the fuck is it? I'm getting really impatient with this. At the docks of Ashbury is a spectacle shop. The docks, the docks. What? Okay, yeah, yeah. I put my my spectacle shop at the docks. That makes perfect sense. This? Raymond's fine spectacles. There you go. Can you make custom spectacle for me, Mr. Pierce? I need a pair from K Thorn Crystal. Well, it is not often I'm asked for such a pair, but yes, I can manufacture those. But it is a delicate tat at 1000. I will have to charge 1,000 coin for a pair and you will need to provide your crystal, of course. I get to keep any remaining shards of crystal. This is acceptable. Very good. Wait. Uh, he busies himself, carefully shaving the crystal, slowly shaving it into a pair of lenses, lifting them into spectacle frames. Ah, yes, here they are. A very fine pair, if I do say so myself. Thank you. Okay, so we have these spectacles. Boom. Since they don't really do anything uh, malicious or any, I might keep them for the rest of the game. The next time I play this game, and I, and I expect to play it in the near future, I'll play like a tech focus character, probably a dwarf. Probably guns, uh, but I won't. Like it won't be ex exclusively guns. We'll see, because I can also make a bunch of weapons. But these weapons might be for the guys that, for for my uh, followers. Okay, if I continue in this direction, we'll be able to exit down. So 
So I was uh, the new Monkey Island. I haven't bought it anything. I haven't played it. I haven't bought it. I'm waiting for a sale, probably. I'm waiting. I have no, uh, no reason to be excited about that. Not that it's not good or anything. I'm just... I wasn't waiting for what? What are the next adventures of Guybrush Threepwood? Like, what's what's going on with his life? You know, I didn't either. A sequel to it. Are you playing Tales of Monkey Islands? Oh, okay, 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 okay. But you're playing that after, right? Or am I missing something? I th I thought that was it. Then you were playing that. Tails of Monkey Island. Oh, Tails is pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, well, Wheel Clan for real this time. I also have like Monkey Island Four that I have not streamed, so probably I'll wait for a sale, and I'll play Four Tales of Monkey Island and the newer one. And a dungeon. Or not. Nope, this is not a dungeon. Old, what business have you in the caverns of the Wheel Clan? Speak! I come with grave news. Tell the guard your story. I see, this is grave news indeed. You need to speak with King Thunderstone. His house is directly northeast of here. Just through the center passage. Speak with him, and he will know what to do. Thank you. goes down. Do we have the map for this? Probably, since this is a town. Okay, well, let's go... Let's go here first. Any newsworthy happening? Not that I get uh, out much, but I've heard that tell that there's a strange old bug just northwest of here, over the mountains. Who knows what might be there? Thank you. I'm sure I'm worried about Torval Two Stones. Uh, we haven't seen him around here for almost 200 years. I'm afraid he might be lost. Yeah, well, he's. I know where he is. You didn't hear it from me, friend, but no one has seen the true king, Logare Thunderstone, for many years. No one knows why. I'd stay out of the ore mines if I were you, friend. The miners down there say that something evil has been unleashed down there. And more than a few have gone missing. If you're looking to make an offering to Alberic, friend, the altar is located in the royal ground. If you want to know about the dredge, talk to Vegard Moltenflow. He used to work in those old mines before they closed them down. We dwarves don't put much stock in books and the like, but it seems that they're the only thing that Eric Obsidian cares about. Calls himself a historian. Someone told me that Thrain Iron Art is looking for his brother, Erland. No more rumors. What's this? Oh my god. Okay, now go here first. Shit, this is a huge, uh, huge place. What's going on with this? I can't access this?
So did you get better at uh, at lock picking? Yeah, well, it's not great. Level two. I don't think I, if I'm not able to open it, I don't think I, it would be. Yeah. Hello, good dwarf. I ask your name. The door before you is old, with large streaks of grey in his hair and beard. He is wide, even for a dwarf, with large hands and forearms. My name is Vegard, Vegard Moltenflow. Nice to make your acquaintance. I'm Camilio. Well met, Camilio. Welcome to the Wheel Clan. Is there something I can do? Questions. Can you train me something about the Wheel Clan? The Wheel Clan is the oldest of all the clans. Logair Thunderstone is our clan chief, and also king of all the dwarves. He has ruled for more than 600 years, until, well... What? What happened to Logair? Sorry, boy. Being you're not a dwarf, I shouldn't be talking about the king or his business. Are you sure you can trust me? Hmm. He looks at you considering. Maybe you're right. You speak like a trustworthy type, anyhow. He lowers his voice. Logair had some trouble with elves about 50 or 60 years ago. He left for some sort of council, and when he returned, well, he went into a stone fury. Pounding the walls, screaming about treachery and blood. What happened? No one knows. But the very next day, he came out of his house dressed in nothing but his skin and carrying his family axe. And he disappeared into the dredge. We haven't seen nor heard from him since. Who rules in his stead? His son, Renver. If you're looking to speak with him, he's in the Grand Hall. He doesn't see people often. Not much else to tell, we have a few shopkeeper here and there, always willing to make someone a deal. All in all, we're good folk here in the Will Clan. But don't get out of line. With the dredge and the king gone, well, be that as it may, just watch your step around here. I'm just an old dwarf trying to stay out of everyone's way. I used to be a miner way back when the dredge was operational. The dredge was the dredge. The dredge, it's a system of caverns that used to be an iron mine. The entrance isn't far from here, just next to the royal palace. Why don't they mine there anymore? No, there's no more iron in those caves, boy. Took a fair amount out myself. Only thing left in the dredge is dark and monsters. Not a place you want to be taking a stroll in. It's a shame, too. I lost something down there a long time ago. But no one goes in there anymore. Orders of the king and all that. What did you lose, Vergarn? Long ago I lost a key. That key opens the door to a secret room deep within the caverns of the dredge. A room I carved out with my own hands. In that room is an old family heirloom, and I'd love to see it again before I die. I used to go looking for the key, but once they closed the dredge, I couldn't longer do so. Perhaps I might retrieve the heirloom. Hmm, I don't know. There are always guards at the entrance of the dredge. That I wouldn't want you to cause any trouble. But... If you happen to get permission to get into those old caves and came out with my heirloom, I might be willing to give you a stout dwarven miner's helmet. It's good for seeing in the dark. Hmm. Done. I'll return with it shortly. I'll do so. Can we go over it one more time? Uh, let's charm you. Will Clan. Family Heirloom. Okay. My name is Eric Obsidian. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well met, Eric. A few questions, if you don't mind. What is it you do here in the Wheel Clan? 
I'm an historian. I study our dwarven past, reflect on the paths we have taken, collect objects of historical relevance and value. You almost see him smile. When I can, I try to tell our story and tell it true. I can only hope to be a looking glass into a dwarven soul. What are you studying right now? Currently, I'm studying dwarven legends and mythology. And recently, I came across something very interesting, very interesting indeed. He seems lost in thought. What is you found? He shakes his head. Sorry about that. The possibilities are so exciting. Perhaps I should be more forthcoming. Dwarven mythology tells of an ancient race of dwarves whose civilization was filled with such wonders as the world has never known, has never known before or since. They were known as the Iron Clan. The Iron Clan? Were they real? What happened to them? Well, no one really knows if they were real or what happened to them if they were... Because we found no proof of their existence. But... One of our miners dug up an old dwarven mace a few weeks ago. The handle of that axe was hollow. And within it was this, uh, it shows you what looks to be an old schematic. What is it, Eric? It looks to be the schematic of a, for a key. There's some text on here, which seems to end that it is the first of many keys. Keys which open the place of iron, where lies the stone. Do you know what that could mean? No, what? What does it mean? The stone that it refers to could be the famed Durin stone, upon which the dwarven philosophy of the shape and the stone is purportedly carved. The recovery of such an object would be invaluable for the dwarven race, an unparalleled discovery reflecting our, cultural, our culture and history. What do you mean the shape and stone? I'm sorry my friend, but the shape and stone is, is for a dwarf soul. It is not for me to tell you such things. Why haven't you gone through looking for the Iron Clan? For a moment, Eric looks almost sad. I have no, I have not the time, friend. There is so me much here that is real and known that I cannot chase ghosts all over Arcanum. Perhaps one day I might find the time to make this key and see where it takes me. Perhaps I might attempt to find them for you. Yes, I suppose it does no harm. I have a copy of the schematic, so you cannot find the place of iron. I could always go looking for myself. If you do find it and the Durin Stone is there, bring it to me. It would be worthless to anyone but a dwarf, and most precious to me. I'd have nothing to offer but my thanks. I'm afraid a historian has little in worldly go goods. I'd be honored to go on this journey. Pay or no pay. Splendid! He smiles just slightly. Here's the schematic. Okay, so... Ancient schematic. So those I can probably do iron key yeah, I've learned how to do the iron key iron key I remember this art stone and mithril ore The writing on this schematic is faded, barely illegible. Search ye, place of iron, where lies the stone. Voices, book of truth, a glass that opens, beyond belief, power, such power. Eric Obsidian wants you to find the last burial ground of the Iron Clan and retrieve the Durin Stone. Okay, I need to remember that that's the key that connected to that. Name. I go by the name of Thrain Ironheart, and you are Camellio. Well, Camellio, what brings you to our clan? We do not receive many visitors in these new times. Why is that? Ever since he begins to say something, and obviously thinks better of it. We keep to ourselves ever since your race stole our technology. Mere children with the power of our gods in their hands. The thought of it makes my blood turn cold, it does. Never in all our history could we ever have imagined such a thing. 
Since our place in the world has been stolen, we have removed ourselves from it. Dwarves deserve to live in the ground, you arrogant bastard. I admit my kind I made mistakes, but you're being a bit harsh. You are entitled to your opinions, human, even though they may be wrong. I don't blame you personally. As a matter of fact, I met many fine humans, but as a race, you lack maturity. I suppose I can't argue with that. What can you tell me of the Will Clan? The Will Clan is the first and greatest of all. Hence, our position as the head of clans, we have ruled unchallenged since the Great Clan Wars. The Clan Wars? Yes, perhaps I said too much. The Great Wars are not something we discuss with outsiders. Uh, where are all the dwarves' women? He seems to become very angry for a moment, and then calms himself down. That is not something you should ever ask a dwarf about. You are fortunate I am a forgiving person. Some would have cut you down where you stand for me mentioning such a thing. Is it true that they are hidden because they are bearded and ugly? Oh my god. Why is the wheel plan so secluded? Ever since... Yes. Oh, one more thing. I know that you're a traveler. If you ever happen to find yourself at the Stonecutter Clan, could you deliver a message to my brother? He's been gone some 15 years and I need his help back here. He's a bit of a layabout, if you get my meaning. I'll be sure to do that. Could you mark the location on my map? He takes your map and marks it. There you go. Quite annoying that they make you walk so much for no real reason. Like, why is that so secluded? Why isn't there? Anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, we started here. This is to get maybe in the dredge. Being an inventor, I have a wide assortment of technological parts and many electronic components. Trade. Yeah, you don't have what I need. You have a small steel engine. Steam engine. What would you do with a small steam engine? You can actually make something with a small steam engine in this game. That's a 1000 stone. Again, I don't know because I've never went the technological route. Mitchell ore, 700 bucks. We'll need it, but should I buy it or maybe just find it? I'm not buying anything. I'm not gonna go into 
to your backstory. You're probably not gonna like me if I do that. Oh, I think I. Uh, oh no, my duty is. Uh, is affected by a spell. Maybe I have a scar. Now they're treated. See a thing in here? Wow. Yes, sir. What? So they they can force you in this game to use uh, lots of plants in here to use lights if they if they want to. Usually, it's even in mines. It's there's always some light source like this. It always looked at least like this, but it seems that they could. They can make it completely dark if they wanted to. I think they should have maybe sometimes. I don't remember a cave that's completely dark that requires a lantern or some kind of spell to even be able to move around. Greetings. Uh, tell me about the Will Clan. He doesn't want to. I'll be off. I don't want to room for the night. And this goes away. Yeah, this seems to be the second level up there. I think we've done everything. We went down here. We went down here. We went on this side. Then these are the shops in this little garden. Oh, I didn't go in here. Uh, yeah, let's go on to the second floor. This is the dredge. Yeah, they don't want us to go into the dredge. The other place they want us to go, it seems. Uh, look around. I'm sorry, but no one is allowed down into the dredge. By order of Renver Thunderstone. If you've got a problem with that, you have to bring it up with him. I will. Okay, this seems to be the throne room. I should have done that. Uh, can I still cast some spells here? No. 
I don't believe we've met. I'm Renver Thunderstone, son of Logair Thunderstone. I stand as chieftain and king in waiting of all the dwarves both over and under mountain in the lands of Arcana. Welcome to the Cavern of the Wheel Clan. I must be leaving. Okay, before talking to him, I want to do uh, I want to do this. Just in case. You said you were king in waiting. Yes, my father is unavailable and I rule in his stead, but I am not the true king and I will not be as long as my father lives. I am only a king in waiting. I need of your assistance. I come with news of most dire nature. I have a tale to tell. And you say you've been to the Isle of Despair to confirm the story of Goodman or Bender? Yes, I was there. There was no sign of the BMC dwarves. Uh, Black Mountain Cave dwarves. I think they're gonna start saying that. And I remember the first time I played, I was like, what the fuck? BMC dwarves? <laughs> this troubles me, my friend. We were given assurance by El Elberic. Assurances, bloody meddling. Oh, blast them, all to the dark depths. Blast who, the elves? What is going on here? This is an old and dark business, the business of my father. As I am his heir, it falls to me to make it right, but I, I know not what to do. He told me so little. What happened to your father, Renver? Visibly shaken. My father, great and solid Logair Thunderstone, king of the dwarves. Do you know of him, stranger? The stories of his courage, of his strength, of his wisdom. My father, stone among stones. From out of the madness of the clan wars, he united us under one banner, under one king, through the sheer power of his will. Where is he, Renver? What happened to him? It broke his heart, that heavy stone heart. He who warred against Lorek, the abjurer in the pass of Gorgoth, who in victory burned Lorek alive, along with 10,000 of his dwarven followers. And this, this broke him like a child upon the stones of the world. Please, Renver, I need to know what, happen, what has happened here. Renver calms himself. It is the Orbender, it is as the Orbender told you. My father permitted the banishment of his own people by the elves. He watched them send a, sent away, heard their cries with ardness born of a hundred generations of thunderstone. So where is he? My father came home and upon his knees cried out for his lost foolish brethren. Tears of regret, stranger. Regret, shame and sorrow. The cavern shook with his fury, shook of, at the impact of his hands upon bare stone. He tore the clothes from his body and set his bulk against the walls and the floors, and his sorrow was marked in blood. And then, I told you, he left us, walked into the old caverns with nothing but arrow first axe of the thunderstones and with that weapon he disappeared exiled by his own grief and left the wheel clan he's never returned i'm very sorry what did the elves have to do with this the elves it was they who demanded the banishment of the black mountain clan for their crimes but as for the reasons as i said i know very little my father never told me the details of these discussions with them only that what he, what had been decided was necessary, and that the responsibility would be his. What crimes? What had the Black Mountain clan done? Technology, manipulation of natural force, the stone, and gearworks that make men gods. This our legacy, given into the hands of reckless children, and the disease has spread, and the cost, stranger. Oh, the bloody cost! Uh, Goodman spoke of Gilbert Bates. Bates? It was Bates who spread technology and its disease. And who are we to blame him? Humans. Cursed with brevity, lacking patience, lacking discernment. I've spent human lifetimes deciding on what type of stone to use in a mural. Okay, do it. Camilo's game recommendation. I can recommend this game. 
What the, give me some parameters. What do you want me to do? <laughs> there was a little description before that nobody reads, I think. That says like... Uh, or maybe not, it's been so... Uh, no, nobody uses that. I played Arcano. Oh, okay. Um, well, have you played Torment? PC game, recommend. RECOMMEND! Okay, then... Uh, I'm trying to find something outside of the box a little bit here. Well, if you're looking for RPGs... Play... Uh, um, Anachronox. That's a great game. Bates! It was Bates who spread technology and disease. And who are we to blame him? Humans, creatures, blah, blah, blah. And look at what they've done in only a few turns of the moon. And with this, these elves came to us speaking of punishment. Who were these elves? What did the rest of the clan say? I have no idea, and I know not why my father felt it necessary to speak with them, nor to heed their demands. As king, my father never should have allowed them to interfere. But for some reason he allowed it. He's never spoken a word about it since. It seems I'll have to sp speak with Logair. Where is he? I told you he exiled himself. He walked into a dredge and has never returned. What is it? Where can I find it? The dredge is an old system of caverns, a mine actually, not far from here. The entrance is just beyond the entrance to these chambers and to the southeast. Yes, an Akronox. There you will find a stone archway. Beyond that you will find the dredge, into which my father disappeared. It's very different from this, um, but it seems that you've played pretty much all these. I'm sure you played Fallout, Baldur's Gate and all that. What can I expect to find in this uh, dredge? Right now it serves little purpose, but to house an assortment of foul creatures, there are minecart tracks and an occasional storeroom. No one ventures there anymore, so I don't know anything about beyond that. You must know where he is. Can I convince you to tell me? I'm confused. Why exactly was your father so ashamed? Why would you think that? If a dwarf wants to be alone, then a dwarf stays alone. You're his son and his heir. You'd have gone looking for him. And why? He left me here to rule a kingdom, and rule I will. What sort of son would I be to him? Go running around in the dark looking for a father who doesn't care. Your anger is hollow. You need not protect him from me. And what has he left behind for you? And what has he left behind for you? Please terrify for me why he left such shame for his action. I don't know. No longer care. Your anger is all low. You need not protect him from me. Oh, we like that. You see more than most, my friend. You're correct. I owe no animosity toward my father. My heart breaks every day that he is gone. I seek the truth. I think your father would want that as well. I believe you, stranger. I truly do. I just might be able to point you in the right direction. Any help you'd give me would be appreciated. I must admit it. You're correct. I do see him almost every day. Although he says very little. He lives deep within the dredge. But I have a hidden passage through which I travel. <coughs> well, well, well. And within it, you will encounter no trouble. Just enter here. There's a secret passage under the throne. I trust you, stranger. Find your answer. Do what is right. Wow. That's the path you have to take if you're not a fighter. But I want to... I'll go through the dungeon anyway. I'll most certain, certainly try. Thank you. Passage is there. Can I talk to him again? Uh... Yeah, I think that's it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> He's right there. No Garrett on this though. Or maybe I should, maybe I can have him with me. Might as well just talk to him immediately. What? Who dares disturb the exile of Thunderstone? Because I was about to go through the little like mine, like cavern that was okay, and then go through the dredge and then talk to him. No. <laughs> no. I'm excited about Baldur's Gate 3 that's coming up. Forgive me, Your Highness, I have no choice but to. Quiet! This insolence is unforgivable. The violation of my ancient right for solitude in exile is not broken so easily. Your life hangs in the balance, stranger. Speak quickly, lest you taste of the fury of Harrow. He ups a double edged axe on his belt. I come here with the blessing of your son. My son? Randver? He would dare permit such an affront? I've come here to writhe upon the blade of my sorrow, to live the thousand deaths by the ancient right of kings. These laws are passed down through the mountain from the beginning of remembered time. Your life is forfeit to them, as is my own. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, but it's only your life that will end. Stop, I come with news of the Black Mountain Clan, BMC. What? How do you know? Speak quickly. Your life still hangs in the balance. I have a story to tell. I have no words, no words. My crime, it seems, is even more heinous than I thought. I deserve much worse than this mere isolation. You know exactly what happened. In all the time since the judgment was passed, I have never spoken of it. My shame has held my tongue. It seems that very shame shall now finally bring the betrayal to light. These elves will approach you. Who were they? <sighs> A delegation of elves sent from the Silver Lady herself. They came not long after Bates had built his first steam engine. Technology in the hands of the human had spread and advanced at an alarming rate. And the elves were hit first, and hardest. How? What had the spirit of technology done to the elves? Their forests... Their forests were being cleared with the help of technology. Massive steam-powered clear-cutters. The oldest groves, towering and untouched for thousands of years, were being destroyed without prejudice. I saw much of this with my own eyes. The ancient forest of Morbahan is little more than a graveyard now. Why did technology spread so fast? There are many reasons. Humans, in comparison with the other races, live such short lives. Because of this, I believe that every human action is motivated through fear. The fear of death. He would think that this was a relative issue, that humans would learn to live with this limitation and accept it. This is not true. And therefore, humans, when confronted with any situation, see it through the veil of their own mortality. Achieve, advance, perform. Humans are constantly driven by the shadow of their own death. This fear, unfortunately, clouds their judgment, deadens their sense of right and wrong. Humans act first, think later, and feel last of all. When Bates was given a look at our technology, he was overcome. As a human, his first thought was, what can I use this for? When it should have been, what is the cost of its use? 
technology exploded in their hands because they are not burdened with our longevity. Humans rarely live long enough <laughs> to see the consequences of their mistakes. So true. The Silver Lady is Mother Queen to the Elves. She is very old, much older than I, and very powerful in the ways of magic. The delegation told me that she was extremely hurt and angry about the damage that had been done. According to them, because of her age and power, she was hurt the most by the clearing. Her connection to the forests was strongest of all. Have you spoken to her directly? No. I'm not sure if any but elven eyes have ever been laid upon her. Over the years, we have corresponded through messengers. Elves and dwarves are very different, and we tend to stay away from one another. But our relationship, as culturally strained as it may be, has always been civil. We don't necessarily understand one another, but we've always respected the differences. Where does she live? In Kintara, the oldest city of the elves, somewhere within the glimmering forest. What are the major differences between dwarves and elves? Were there elves living in the forest of Morbi... Mor... Morbian? I've said before that there is a strong connection between living things and magic, and the magic flows the most strongly in the veins of elves. Dwarves are very different. We feel a strong connection to the earth, but in another way. We love those things which are eternal, unchangeable, earth, stone, metal. In those things are strength, but not life as you know it. They said that if the Black Mountain Clan was not punished, there would be war. War! I told them that a punishment was already being decided upon, and that we, as dwarves, would deal with them. They refused. They claimed rights as the afflicted, and therefore as the judges. They agreed that exile was a suitable punishment, but they wanted to be the vessel of that retribution. Oh, I'm finishing with this guy and then it will be done. No. Good night, I know that there was a time of violence many years ago among the elves. But from what I know of them, they are a very rational, peace-loving people. They know that ultimately, war benefits no one. I was very surprised when they came and threatened it. Yes, the more we talk about it, I begin to get the same feeling. Yes, the elves would have been angry, but would they really have threatened war? Morbahan was a tragedy, but directly affected none of the elven communities. Perhaps my fear blinded me to such things before. And now this mystery. Where are the dwarves of the Black Mountain Clan? I am very old, stranger. You may know nothing of me, but believe me when I tell you that I've seen enough dwarven blood spilled to fill a thousand lifetimes. Have you any idea what it would mean for there to be a war between the elves and the dwarves? Arcanum itself would not survive the conflict. And I was so very tired of filling tombs with the bodies of my people. But nothing! I chose to spare the Dwarves, the world, the price of such a war. What was one clan's honor in comparison with the sheer cataclysm that would result otherwise? You ask what right they had? None. They merely forced a choice, and I chose the path of least resistance, the least pain. That was my betrayal, stranger. But that is the point! I am king of the dwarves. It is my responsibility to lead them, to protect them. But most importantly, it is my responsibility to defend their honor, their dwarven honor. By allowing my own fear or concern, regardless of how justified that fear might be, to overshadow their honor was an unforgivable transgression. 
Being a king isn't always easy. You're right. You acted both rashly and irresponsibly. What does he want to hear? Even as king, the choice is never mine as to whether even one dwarf is stripped of his honor. I should have brought this to the people, or just flatly refused from the beginning. I was a coward, a failure, and this exile is my punishment. Given the choice now, I would have waged war against all of Arcanum to uphold the honor of that foolish little clan. It makes thing, things right. We can still make this right, find the truth. I don't know, stranger. I think that it is too late for me. Your crime is unforgivable. At least help me. You still have a chance to get to right this wrong. No, my friend. It is no longer my burden. I've taken up another. I failed the dwarves once. I shall never do so again. Leave me here. Tell Randver he won't be seeing me anymore. I see now that the price for my cowardice is even more costly than I'd imagined. My poor dwarven brothers. I'm so very, very sorry. Take this. A letter sent to me from oh the my Elven God. delegation. I'm so close to leveling up. It is a name. Min Gorad. It's all I have. And all I'm willing to give. Perhaps you should seek out Kintara, City of the Elves. I know not where it is, but the village of Stillwater is near the edge of the glimmering forest in which, it is said, Kintara lies. Maybe someone there will know where to find it. Okay. I'll say no more. Leave me. I return to my exile. I am nothing. So still water. Was that the place I was here? Oh, I can't see anything on this ship. Anyway, I think this will be the end of the stream. Yeah, let's see. XP. XP next 39. <laughs> We're this close to an, uh, another level. He's only level 17, Gar. So we're maxed out in terms of uh, alignment. We're goody little two. Sh Whoops. Let's read somebody. Tomorrow we play uh, more Bioshock, and at eight it's gonna be some D Space Nine Arbinger, Ar Arbinger, Arbinger. Have a great night, everyone. See you next time. Ciao. Thank you for your cooperation. Good night. I'll buy that bread off.